Mundo is the easiest and best champion to start climbing towards your League of Legends ranks that you basically want to try and achieve. I'm trying very, 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 very hard right now. Please help. Hello one and all, and welcome to another exciting episode of Escape from Elo Hell, the series where I grip you tight and pull you from perdition. I'm your humble host, Graham Scrubberfly, and today I'm going to be taking the advice of Alois and playing Mundo Top. Well, time to make Mundo's rounds. Now, Alois says that Mundo is basically overpowered and amazing for low elos, and I want to see if I can replicate some of his magic trying to rely on the fundamentals. So, this game we're going to be playing up against a Renekton. Uh, they also have a Briar jungle. We have a Jax jungle, so I believe that we lose the 2v2, and as Alois would say, uh, Mundo is in one of the bottom five weakest champions in the top lane for the early game, but he scales amazingly well, whereas Renekton is a very strong early game champion who doesn't scale all that well. So our goal is going to be to let him push into us, as in we don't fight for priority in the early game, and we allow ourselves to scale and eventually beat him. Now, it looks like my jungler is going to be looking for a leash on this red buff. Uh, I am going to see if I can't get a ward down on to the Briar's blue buff instead. And he might get a little mad at me because I should have done this earlier, but... This will give us some information. And he can do this without um, a leash regardless. It looks like we do have a Zyra who is AFK. So we actually, we don't want to fight for this at all. We don't want to fight for the priority. We just want to let uh, the wave push into us. So we're just going to sit here and allow the wave to shove. And I can walk up, I can hit that. And then hit this. Oh, and I missed that minion. That's very sad. Uh, I don't have any AD in my rune, so lasting these is a little bit harder than I would... I mean, I will just throw Qs at him if he just gives them to me. There's no reason not to. And I should just kind of be farming with Qs, but... If he's gonna not threaten me and I can just farm with my... Oh, he has level 2 now, so we really don't want to walk up to him. But we can... Just do that. And if he walks up... We can hit him with a Q, just kind of cause him some pain and suffering. Just continue to do that. We still really don't want to fight him. We're not looking for priority. We can hit him with some poke. Just walk away. He's going to be shoving this into us, which is what we want. It gives him level priority, but makes us safer in our scaling. And we want this minion. We get it. Wait for these to come under tower and just farm them. And we do have a health lead here, so we're kind of winning. And we'll hit level three here. I'm gonna <laughs> miss this with my Q. And now, oh, what is going on over here, brother? We don't want to fight this. This 2v2 is not something that we want. We're just gonna let them walk away. And we don't really want to try to pressure him, really. I can still throw Qs at him, but we don't really need to do much. We just need to farm and try to get to our items. So we do have the wave bouncing back towards him. So we're going to hit level four first. So we might be able to try and get a fight here if he walks up. But I mean, is, is he backing here? He's missing. He went to the bush. Is he still in the bush? Nope. Okay. So he may have backed, but we did not fast push this quick enough. So we're probably going to have to wait for the next wave and then push that in before we can back. So we're going to try to hard crash this. Hopefully we can get it in before the Renekton shows back up. Uh, and not miss a ton of minions in the process. Try to use my auto attack reset to kill this. Get that. Get this. Get that. And then I just want to kind of chuck a Q at him. I hit it, which is nice. He'll probably just heal that back up, but I want to throw a Q at him before I back anyway. And we're just going to back and buy, because this being shoved into tower allows it to bounce back to us, and then we will be back to play out the bounce. All right, and we will be rushing War Mogs. Uh, we do need an extra Ruby Crystal to get the War Mogs uh, passive to function, uh, which is why we also have gone with the uh, cash back rune in order to allow us to get cash back from buying oh shit, not good. the uh, 
the War Mogs, which will get us to that Ruby Crystal. And once we are able to get to that Ruby Crystal, then we will get the passive, and then we can just kind of trade like a dum dum uh, and not get punished for it. But for now, we're still kind of in a spot where we don't really need to trade with him. We're just, we want to scale. And we don't really feel pressured to fight him or anything like that. This is coming into us. We don't need to step up for CS. This is just going to come into us. I'm not going to be able to hold a freeze or anything like that, but... If he tries to pressure me, I can maybe, like, throw some cleavers at him or something. I wanted that Q to hit him or that minion, but neither happened. It's rather sad. Cleaver him. He just hit six. He did take a tower shot, but with him being six and me not being six, there's no way I fight him. He's always going to beat me there. We do have six here, and we are even in CS, which even is winning. Alois says even is winning on Mundo. Uh, I believe that they're probably down there taking that. I don't think that... I, I mean, this is shoving towards him. So I think that I kind of have to try to rush this up and just see what happens. Uh, but as long as I'm not dying to the Renekton, I am playing well. Uh, or well enough, at least. And we can just walk this back. We don't want to let him freeze it, so I'll kind of walk at him. And I mean, that still does a good amount of damage. I want to walk down here and just put a ward kind of here, because this is going to cover this entrance as well as uh, give me an idea if they're doing grubs. Throw this down here so I can get some vision down and then just walk back up here. Um, don't have enough gold to really buy anything important, so I think that we just do that. And we, I mean, we win that trade by a large margin, so I'm not really that concerned at the moment. I mean, if he's gonna ult, I can just walk away and we'll just let him ult. And then when his ult is down, I'll go ahead and pop a potion, because I think that once his ult is gone, if he stays, I can fight him. Uh, well, see, here's the problem, is this is going to crash into tower and I can't stop it. So, we will just do that, and we will start maxing E now. You put three points into Q, and then you max E. You know, and... I wasn't willing to give up this wave. If I was, I may have been able to punish him and kill him there. I think if he stays here, which I think that he's going to be trying to back. So I'm going to actually walk up and try to stop. Yep. Can he kill me here? Looks like he might be able to, actually. Oh, his jungler's here and their mid laner. Okay. Well, uh, dying on his turn is not great, but I can come back into lane. We will eventually outscale him. Those fights will not be nearly as close in the future. Uh, but for now, I guess we just have to play a little bit more careful. And I don't need to greed for kills like that. That's kind of a bad move. That's not playing with the fundamentals. Uh, I should have just tried to play with the waves, maybe tried to freeze off. Uh, what I really was trying to do was stop his back, but I did that. I could have then just backed off and I wouldn't have died and he would have been stuck in lane. So, you know, we did not play that correctly for sure, but... I don't need to back right here, and it looks like he's not here, so I can go ahead and get a plate pretty easily. I don't know where he's at, but this could be coming for me. It is, but it missed. Throw a Q, chunk him out a little bit. Uh, and we could definitely, having a jungler, try and snipe us here. Oh, I tried to get that minion, but I failed. So we'll just put a, a shallow ward here. I do have ghost, and I'll have bolts uh, soon, so... I don't think he kills me here. I just walk away. He just uses his ult and I'm fine. So we're good with that. No biggie. We just keep chucking Qs at him. And we will just be farming towards our item. I don't think he can dive me here. If he tries, I do still have ult. So I mean, I'm going to force him to make a decision there whether he wants to get that or take a bunch of free damage. So, and then I can just chuck a Q in there, see if it hits him. It does not. I do have ult, so if I need that to play this out, uh, I can definitely use it. He doesn't have ult, he used that. So we want to, once again, shove this in. Oh, I am checking my... I don't know if I beat him here. It's close. No, it's not. It's not close at all. 
Okay, well, I guess we have already outscaled the Renekton, and I don't know that that's even completely true, uh, but in that instance, I was checking my shop, and he came up to try to kill me. I just W and R, and he's just not able to fight me. Um, part of that is because he doesn't have his R. He used it previously, and I just ran away. So him being a little overconfident, because I have not, because I failed the last fight, and I have not been fighting him. He's TPing here. I'm just crashing this. I need to go back to base. I have enough for my item, and I think that the... Uh, rune that I have will allow me to have enough gold to also get a ruby crystal, which will activate the Warmog's armor, uh, making my job so much, so much easier. So if he's going to be mid, I just shove this up. We know he used his TP, so he can't TP back. So we hard shove this as hard as we can. And then we go ahead and try to take this tower, at least parts of it. Um, they are definitely taking that there, but I can't really stop them, so uh, I just continue to wail on this. I, I mean, I have no way to stop that, unfortunately. So instead, we just keep shoving this to try to get a trade back. It looks like they might be walking up here to kill me. I'm going to try to greed for these last couple minions and then walk off. Uh, they might be doing this. I can't stop them is part of the problem. Uh, I'll just slap a ward and say, yep, they are definitely over here. I don't think I can fight them, but I will just be aware that they're here and kind of just back off. They're deciding to go bot lane instead. I'm not going to try to 1v3. It's just not a smart idea. Um, this, I believe, should be to me. It's a little, uh, a little hard to tell, but I mean, uh, you don't scare me, my guy. Their team is still around, but I can just take this wave, run it back up here. And I mean, I'm just going to continue to heal from my war mogs. I actually want to hold this wave, I think, uh, for the moment, because you know what? No, I don't, because Renekton's going to have to back and there's things happening on the other side of the map. So I want to exert some pressure instead. Uh, my war mog shit is activating, so I will just start healing and possibly be able to kill this tower if I get another proc off of my um, demolish. So that's what we're gonna try to do is just try to take this tower down. It's gonna give me a bunch of gold. And then we will shove up this next wave possibly. I don't think he can kill me. I mean, he definitely, I mean, I can just walk away. I could try to fight him, but I don't need to necessarily. We see that their jungler and their mid laner is bot side, so I'm just gonna pop my ults. And mm, I don't know that he's beatable. I'm just gonna walk off. I don't think I need to fight him here. Uh, I do have my W up now, so if he tries to fight me, I can pop that, get a bunch of healing back. And I'll just throw stuff at him. But once again, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? He did all of those trades right? And he traded a bunch of his health to try to kill me. And now look at my health. Look at my health. Just absolutely zoom up. I'm Mundo. I don't care. You suck. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what he does. As long as I don't die, I'm just going to sustain out and force him to come back and fight me. And I, he just he can't kill me. It's not possible. Especially not now. And I think I might just walk under tower and kill him. I don't even have to walk under tower. He just doesn't respect me, and he dies for it. I missed my Q on a minion, which is a little sad. I think the Diana is coming up here. I want to get this Demolish proc off, though, and then I'll just walk out. No, nope, she's still down there, so actually I'm going to continue pushing. And I know that my team is losing. I know this game looks grim, but I can get myself a bunch of gold here and then go bot and, and start dealing with stuff. Um, can I just ignore you? I might be able to just ignore you. I'm gonna get this tower. Pop ghost. And just say, worth. Even if I die, we just say worth. Yep, that's fine. So, my plan now is just to let me walk bot. Have them go mid. Let me bot. Please. 
She's going to take this whole wave for no reason, which she could have just gone mid instead. But I can now cause a bunch of problems in the bot lane instead of in the top lane. I mean, I, I think that Jack should maybe go help with that, but I think that my role at the moment is just trying to shove this up. Her dying there is basically wholly unnecessary. We just need to try to defend waves. I think that me trying to, like, group with my team is not going to end as well as they think it will. Maybe, can I catch this person? Eh, I'll just turn around. I'm joking! Stop! 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 And they just can't kill me. Even though that Diana has six kills and has been all over the map, she just cannot kill me. And, I mean... I die here, but it does take, you know, three people and a bunch of time. So is that optimal? Definitely not. Uh, but I can definitely still cause problems here as soon as I spawn. All right. So I run back bot once more. They've pushed this up, so I have to push it again. Uh, I don't think that she should be fighting a Renekton when she's two levels down, but that's just my opinion. What do I know? And they won't be able to kill me. They're just doomed here. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. Well, all right, goodbye. I'll just push the wave instead. I killed their jungler, which is, you know, I once again was just super fed and continue to cause problems. I need another item or two before I can truly just be unkillable. Uh, once I get my Spirit Visage, things will be very, very hard for them. But right now, they've got two top, they've got one dead, uh, and their Diana had to run away from me. So I should be able to get this tower and continue to cause pressure on the map where they have to come and deal with me. Uh, I sh maybe could TP top, but I would rather just get gold for myself uh, because my team is kind of a lost cause. So what I need to do is just continue to do this. I kind of want this Briar ult to hit me because I don't think she can kill me. So I'm just going to do this and her healing is going to get cut Ooh, that's kind of small yikes oh and she just barely out heals me that's very sad hmm hmm i should have ran away and let my uh war mogs heal me oops learn something new i'm gonna see what's going on here i don't I might need to, I'm gonna go ahead and TP. It, it, it's just on the edge enough that I feel like I need to try. Um, brother, brother, over here, oh, okay. Well, I should have gone top, they didn't need me at all, but regardless, I had a bad TP, but there's no reason for me now to try to cross the map. So we will instead continue to pressure. Renekton uh, is still down in CS. If, if Renekton were to try to fight me, I would win like 100%, I am just going to try to continue to pressure. I need to be smarter about it. I need to not die. I need to make sure that I'm not getting into fights that I can't get away from. At the very least, I need to be able to get away. But I do get this tower once again. So we're, I'm, I'm getting a lot of gold for myself, which is very important. And then I don't think I want to fight her because Diana's probably on the way. I'll just hit her with this. And I can just walk away, which I think is what I should have done last time. And... I can just let my Warmogs heal me up. They have th three bot. Baron, do have enough gold for my item, but I don't want to let up the pressure just yet because my Garen is like in their base at the moment. He can't fight me. He will just simply lose. Maybe not. Maybe I lose. I mean, I haven't activated my ult yet and I still have Warmog, so I can just walk away and chug a lug a lug, my Warmogs will heal me. So, no biggie. Chug a lug a lug, my Warmogs will heal me. And now that he doesn't have ults, we sit him down. And it looks like my team now is starting to recover a little bit, hopefully. An 
but I, I have to back. Uh, they have two people pushing top, and my team is dead. I'm going to ping this so that Garen maybe tries to walk up there and stop them, and then I can go grab my item, start on this item. I want to be tanky. I don't want to go for damage right now. Um, but I can definitely just ghost at these guys, and I think they'll just die. I still have my passive, so they can't even CC me at the moment. So I will just be an unkillable, like, death machine at the moment. Uh, I'll let Garen get that farm top. I want to get these... Uh, I want to get these waves mid, and then we want to be on this dragon. I don't want to let them get uh, soul. But I, I wonder what a team fight would look like with us at this point in time. Because at this point, I'm, I'm extremely strong. I'm very hard to kill. I don't think we need to fight that at the moment. Like, we do want to be around that dragon, but it doesn't spawn for another minute. And I can instead just, like, push these towers and continue to be a nuisance. Uh, so we do see those two bots. I, I will just keep pushing. If they're not going to come and stop me. I can do a lot. Right, I'll just ping this. Brother, if you walk up, I will beat your ass. Bye. Okay. See, I have TP in six seconds. Can they beat her? If they beat her, that's very, very good for us. I want to try and intercept this ult. Yes, perfect. I'm going to pop my ults. Walk this way. Where is my Jax at this point in time? Okay. I don't know where my Jax is. He's over here with the Aphelios, kind of hanging out. Ja and Garen is in base. Okay. This is getting very difficult. I want to ping this dragon soul and I will just push this up to try to get some pressure. I will ping this dragon and try to I don't know how many times I have to ping it to get my jungler to come over here. Like I would just start it and do it myself, but if their jungler shows up, I just lose it. So there's no reason for me to start it without having people around. I mean, you can't. So here's the thing. I can just pick that up and now I'm immune to CC again. So Start with this. Start with this. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? You guys are kind of trolling, but that's fine. I will just intercept her. Hell no. Right. Oh, this man is going fucking nuts. I'll just walk this way. I don't even care. I have ult in a couple of seconds, so we just try to survive until we can get that. And then we just walk out this way. And my team gets dragon, so we're happy. Wait, my team didn't get the dragon? Okay. Guys! What are we doing? Okay. I'm trying very, 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 very hard right now. Please help. Jax. Jax has brain damage. I'm not going to type it. I'm not going to type it, but Jax has brain damage. Jax, uh, Jax has brain damage. Okay. Anyway, we're going to grab this and then either go Overlord's Blood Mail or, you know, we'll probably go into the Tiamat. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Try to get my team to play for Baron. Um, I am extremely, extremely strong. Uh, I have TP. I have TP. I will force them bots when they come do Baron. Well, this Diana is just dead. Like, you, you just can't kill me. Okay. I don't need you here. I need to be able to do this on my own. And you guys need to do Baron when I force everybody here. 
Okay, bad things are about to happen. Okay. We'll just pop ghost. Okay. Hit that. Okay. Okay, um, so we need to push some objective. My Jax is going towards his jungle, it looks like. So I'm just gonna push mid and get the mid tower and then maybe run bot and get that tower too. Um, and then I will definitely have enough for my, uh, I have enough for my Titanic whenever I back. Zero team. I don't know why my Jax is being so, like. I'm just going to walk away. That's fine. I got what I needed out of that. Uh, I'm not going to have TP for this next fight, so. Ah, well. That's fine. I'll just walk this way. I don't need to really fight them. Oh, hello. I have passive still. Okay. Well, it took, like, everything, and Jax is still doing nothing. But my team is doing Baron, so something. We got something. That's good. So we will shove bot and try to get stuff done here. You know, when it's... Not me 1v5, like literally 1v5, uh, I can do plenty. Um, my support is dead, but I mean, their base is... No, we're not scared of them. We're not scared of them. We don't care. 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 We're not scared of them. We don't care. Honestly, at this point, we could just walk into their base. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Oh, this is bad. I have to come help with this. No, 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 I don't. I lied. Shove. Shalver. Shalver the wave. Shalver it. Why don't? No, 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 no. We don't need to back. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm gonna keep. Ah, I gotta shove. I gotta shove. I gotta do stuff. I can't keep backing. They've got three dead. They can't. They, they, I know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna walk at you. Hello. We're gonna be friends. Wait, you didn't die? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Thank you. I'll just keep tanking this tower. I don't give a shit. I don't know what you're running from. I'm doing everything. Don't run. Hello. I didn't use my Titanic in that fight, so things could have definitely been better, but, you know, sometimes it just is what it is. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Brother, you don't kill me. You can stun me. I don't I don't care. Here's the thing, what if I just kill all these towers? What then? What then? I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing, but he's wrong. Whatever he thinks he's doing, he's wrong. He's dead. Alright. This Jax is the most annoying player I've ever seen. I don't even care about her, to be honest. You, you kill her. You kill her. You kill her. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't care. I just kill her. Just kill her. It's fine. An enemy has been slain. I shall do this on my own. Um, you know what? I don't know if I played with solid fundamentals this game, but you know what? You know what? I don't think it matters. I think that I came out on top because I am a Mundo player, and Mundo goes where he pleases, always. Anyway, if you enjoyed that game, uh, thank you so much for watching. Check out my playlist to see more, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Also, 
if you want to see where we're at as far as our climb goes out of iron, uh, I was in iron one, uh, 13 LP before this game. And we'll see where we are ranking now. We have made it to iron one, 47 LP. So, hey, we'll be out of iron soon. Stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next one.